Hey, I'm Mike with woodshopmike.com and today I have an awesome project for you. I had a local couple reach out to me to build this marquee sign for them for their upcoming wedding. So this is a very simple project that incorporates wood, metal, and lights. I'll have the plans available on my website for you to check out. So let's get to the build. I had the letters for this sign printed on a wide format plotter and most office supply stores will be able to do this for you. If you'd like a free template to work from for this project, you can head over to my website and get that. I chose to trace the pattern out rather than just glue it to the surface of my plywood and cut over it, so that way I can reuse the paper template. Now here I'm using the three foot straight edge to make tracing out the letters just a little bit easier. I started out by cutting these letters on the bandsaw, but then I quickly realized that using a jigsaw is actually faster and easier than balancing these four foot letters on the bandsaw table. Here I'm plunge cutting with the jigsaw. The key to this technique is to slowly rotate the blade into the wood with steady downward pressure. Now if you're not comfortable with this approach, just drill a pilot hole and then you're good to go. To drill holes in these signs for the lights, I first drilled a pilot hole at each one of the locations. Then, drilling from the backside, I used a 1 inch force per bit, and I drilled about halfway through the letter. To finish off, I used a half inch force per bit and drilled the rest of the way through. To finish these letters, I first did a quick sand to knock down any splinters around the edges and holes. Next, I applied a liberal coat of Verithane's weathered wood accelerator and let that dry for a few hours. And finally, before applying the diluted early American stain, I distressed the surface with a hammer and drywall saw. To wrap the letters, I used six inch wide galvanized steel flashing. And to age that metal, I scrubbed it down with toilet bowl cleaner and steel wool. Yes, toilet bowl cleaner. So after the cleaner sat for about an hour, I rinsed, dried, and then applied a second treatment. And after this, I repeated the process again on the other side of the galvanized steel. So here I'm cutting a handful of blocks to two and five eighths inches long. The letters will sit on these blocks and then they'll be centered on the flashing. I started off bending the flashing by marking the bend and then using my woodpecker square as an edge to bend the metal over. Then I followed up with a five in one tool to make the corner sharper. While this method worked well, I quickly realized that some of the bends would be difficult. So I grabbed a piece of aluminum extrusion to bend the metal around and this approach worked out great. And by the way, if you don't happen to have any scrap aluminum tube just hanging around, any crisp edge from a hard material will work just fine. If you'd like to help support my channel, in addition to liking and subscribing, I now have a Patreon account where you can help to fund and vote on future projects. Thank you. With the metal all bent, I grabbed my 16 gauge nailer and secured the flashing with one inch brads. And I used a spacer block to center the nailer on the plywood. In a few spots where the nailer wouldn't quite fit, I used construction adhesive and clamps to hold things in place while the glue cured. To fit the metal on the inside of the O, I clamped the metal in place while working around the interior, being sure to snug it into the top and bottom curves. I secured the flashing to the outside of the O 
using the brad nailer and spacer block as I did previously. I'm using a hammer just to make sure that all the nails are flush since I backed off the air pressure a touch to make sure I wasn't just blowing through the metal. Now to attach the inside flashing, again I used construction adhesive and I clamped the metal in place until it was cured. If you want to learn how to make these wooden cam clamps, you can click the link above. They're very simple to make and they won't break the bank. Alright, so now it's time to install all of those lights. I wore gloves here because it's typically recommended to keep the oils from your fingers off of the bulbs. And I might also be slightly terrified of a bulb cracking and going into my hand. All right, well, that's gonna wrap us up for the day. I hope you enjoyed this cool project and don't forget to click the link below for the plans. Ah, oh, you're still there, awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, have fun making something.